Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another cool reading. Today we're using Capricorn, uh, I was going to use a different deck here. Today we're using uh, uh, tarot cards and oracle cards. <laughs> we are and uh, we, we hope you guys are well. <laughs> For a minute I was going to use this other deck but we have trust uh, Capricorn and rebirth right here. I feel like you are supposed to trust in something that is coming to you, a rebirth of some sort. Uh, and it may be about love. It definitely could be. The Knight of Cups is in the reading, as is the Four of Wands. We do have sorrow. Somebody here ha has experienced some sorrow. And the smudging ceremony is here with the circle of life. The smudging ceremony says, leave the past behind. Whatever past that is, that is uh, maybe hurting somebody or lingering, thinking about it, talking about it, uh, reliving it, something like that. But leave the past behind. And the circle of life talks about your dreams are coming true. But the past has to be left behind here. And the circle of life is interesting because it talks about dreams coming true, but it talks about honoring the dead or honoring the past, but just but leave it there where it belongs. Yeah, that's kind of really what that's all about. Mm -hmm. And so today, uh, we're doing a little bit of a different uh, Celtic cross, though. We start with the issue. So the issue in this reading, Capricorn, is the Two of Swords. Now, you know, the issue's overall energy it can be seen this way, too. But this is, uh, I don't know what to do, or, you know, I don't have any power over the situation. Possibly I'm at a stalemate. Uh, right. What should I do? I feel blocked possibly energetically. Uh, this can be, you know, a few different things, of course. And crossing that is the diminishing or the enhancing energy. This is, you know, the crossing energy, right? Uh, something influencing, influential it could be going away. Uh, it can be a challenge. It's just going to depend here. And we have the ace of swords here. It looks like you don't have the answer to something here, Capricorn. Or you, it can also be here. This is a lot of, there's your two sword cards. So this is bothering you, right? It is, uh, it definitely looks like it. But, uh, you know, this can also be, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a new beginning. I have no control. I'm just not sure. I don't know what's going to happen here. But I feel like you are supposed to trust this. Here is the trust card as the first oracle so let's move the camera back without shutting this camera off <laughs> right and so here uh let's see what else we have in the heart of the matter here let's just get an idea here we have the seven of swords maybe you're dealing with somebody who is sneaky and you don't know if you're going to have a new beginning could be it could be you don't trust somebody here two of swords seven of swords but you may want, there could be an escape here. Somebody's supposed to leave the past behind here in order to have the Ace of Pentacles right here, which is in the outcome. It is. So this is, somebody may need to escape here, or you could be just feeling like, well, this person is, maybe they're sneaky, and I don't know if I'm going to have a new beginning. I don't know. But you're, for me, your energy as the first card, the issue is the two of swords is I don't know. I don't know or I don't have any power. Or I'm feeling blocked, which is kind of like I don't know, right? And so, yeah, and we have the unconscious influence here is the four of wands. This can be saying somebody wants a, a union with you. The unconscious influence, the four of wands. Somebody wants this with you. This is really interesting sitting here in the unconscious. Yeah, it is. Now, we have the conscious influence is the king of pentacles here. I feel like somebody here has like has learned about their life. He has learned big time in this reading. But they had to suffer in order to understand their life or to, in order to understand themselves. Let's get another card here. We have the Four of Wands with 
the nine of cups this is supposed to be the unconscious influence here so i mean you know this is saying maybe somebody didn't know that you were their wish definitely somebody could maybe didn't know or maybe you didn't know this person was your major wish but we see rebirth here and rebirth is is this is death and rebirth or you know this is transformation it this is also of course rebirth is always a completion it's next to the smudging ceremony which talks about leave the past behind which is a completion or you know refers to one and then the circle of life is another ending so down here i feel like somebody didn't know here somebody this rebirth is is like it's like judgment they went through an awakening yeah and uh you know it could be that somebody was kind of maybe two people here here's the refined you know little boy playing the flute and part of the little he's coming out of this lion this angry lion so this is rebirth right here i feel like somebody didn't know that you were their wish somebody didn't know that they loved you here that's how the reading's taking place here the king of pentacles is the conscious energy and so they know it's about you capricorn right <laughs> Uh, and this may be you, right? This may be you, very conscious here. You're the one who was conscious and somebody else was a little, unco uh, is that the right word? Or the lower consciousness about you being their wish. The 10 of swords sits over here reversed and that sits in old patterns in the old way. Let's get a card on that. That's kind of a trip there. And you know, that can mean a few things, it definitely. Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody had options here. Or this can also talk about somebody really having a hard time making choices. Making a choice here. I feel like somebody awakened here and it caused them sorrow. And it caused them joy as well. Joy to, under, to just know I'm really understanding myself. But in the past, this is kind of, this is like the past here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this is old patterns. So somebody here was, I feel like confused here or constantly either trying to make a, a choice about rebuilding or just stuck. I feel like it was stuck. Like, I, I, I can't, this is a really hard choice to make, Seven of Cups. And that's why you are in the Two of Swords energy. That may have been you, Capricorn. You cannot make, you could, it was hard for you to make some type of choice here. But there's this unconscious knowing that somebody is a wish here, but this was not known before. It wasn't, it was like hidden. Hidden in somebody's lower consciousness, really. And the Four of Swords sits here. The Four of Swords, Capricorn, is the conscious in... Oh, I thought you were up here. Uh, no, that was the conscious influences. Over here is, is new patterns moving into the new. This is the Four of Swords reversed. There's a restlessness here. But there's also this kind of major reflection... And that's why this is, uh, that was going on for a long time. That's why this is bringing this whole thing into a new type of, a new way of thinking and the Ten of Cups. Somebody has really, and that's what is bringing this. Bringing this Nine and Ten of Cups, Capricorn. You getting your wish here. Because somebody has really thought about this for a long time. And these are, their new pattern is like, I already figured it out. The old pattern is confusion, seven of cups. The high priestess sits here, and this is uh, your feelings about the issue. So you're Capricorn, you're looking at the issue very like with psychic, you're like very intuitively, here's the high priestess, unless, you know, your person is maybe, you know, Pisces or Scorpio. But this is your feelings about it. Uh, this is, I feel like you, you know, you understand the situation very intuitively. You do. We have rebirth. Definitely. It could be like an awakening. Uh, and here's the king of wands reversed. OMG. 
I feel like what you are doing here, your feelings about this Capricorn is that you feel like whoever this was possibly could not, this person that you, that you love, I believe this nine and 10 of cups to you was never going to kind of step up and be the king of wands. Cause here it's in the reverse, be this king of wands and live a passionate life with courage and movement in their life instead of stagnation. But this here, these, this is where your feelings here. It could be that you feel like this person would never follow their intuition as well. It's possible. And we have the six of cups. This looks like it's somebody from the past. And this is what you are, what you Capricorn are attracting from the outside. Somebody from your past loves you here and feels that you are very special. Yeah, all warm and fuzzy Capricorn. Maybe they feel like you are a friend and this is very unique. Uh, maybe a very warm, a very warm friendship as well. And the Knight of Cups is your desires and your, uh, could be your denials, but this is kind of like hopes and fears. This is what you are hoping for this, this, uh, this offer. And we have the Ace of Pentacles showing up in the outcome Capricorn. And they call this the key. Yeah. Yes, they do beautiful Capricorn. Everything you are wanting here, I feel like is coming your way. And you know, I feel like that you need to trust this. Here's this woman flying, right? Yeah. So we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys for joining me here.